I wonder how many businesses around Carlisle or anywhere else in Cumbria or the borders could really say that they don't want more customers through the door. One of the best ways of getting more customers is to be visible online. Just as a fairly random example, I had a look at carpets in Carlisle. This uh, company here, who I'd never come across previously, Neil McBriarty, he's obviously done something about that. He's pretty visible, and funnily enough, he gets me click. Pretty simple, straightforward website. He's certainly likely to get the bulk of the inquiries. Below Mr. McBriarty, we've got um, a Yell entry one of the uh, more important online directories to be visible in. Have you got your free listing? Have you paid for a listing in Yell to get a little bit more visibility? As we go down we've got another Yell listing and then an important aspect of being visible locally. Do you appear over here on the map? Have you got a fully completed listing in Google Plus what used to be Google Places, have you actually taken the time to find out the keywords that would make you relevant to that listing, that would make you relevant to that map, that would make you relevant to the person looking for carpets or other floor coverings in Carlisle? These guys have, Edenside Carpet Rights, and the front page of that search is populated by the companies that have done at least a little bit of work or had a little bit of work done to kind of get them to feature and it's all about being relevant to what people are searching for and if they find you and click on you being engaging and uh, able to keep them on board the other side of the coin of course is are you stuck at the bottom of uh, page 5, you know, listing number 50 for that search. We've got TS Flooring down there. Who else we got? Geltsdale. If this is the first place you show up at the bottom of page 5, it is only going to be once in a wonder when people find you when they're searching for the service you offer. It's very important to make sure you're maximizing your chances to be found. A recent study by the Internet Advertising Bureau of UK consumers produced some remarkable facts. For instance, when they were asked, when did you actually see something about a product that prompted you to go into a store, into the shop? 25% smartphones, 40-odd well, percent internet, so that could easily include mobile phones, TVs, a quarter. But look at all this, the paper advertising the sort of traditional the traditional signage well according to the people surveyed very little effect on them and this is interesting it's not something I tend to do myself but a lot of people do 38 percent are using their phones in stores to conduct searches price comparison apps for finding shops scanning the product info there's a very important question there when people search for you or your service on a mobile and they click on your website, does it show up on the mobile devices satisfactorily and avoid the need for pinching and zooming? Getting found by your customers and your prospects is much easier than being found if you're trying to market yourself nationally or globally. However, it's become much more competitive in the last couple of years, particularly in a few markets like the, the health and fitness industry. They've, they've latched onto it very strongly. Carpets, though, in Carlisle might look competitive, but there's quite a few gaps. For instance, when you look at this data, not a single trace of anybody taking advantage of making their website visible properly in a mobile phone or a mobile device. Very little email detectable with these missing websites. That's quite, uh, quite disturbing in this day and age. So what is it that needs to be done? Do you know what your prospects and your customers are typing in? Carpets is typed in exactly like that over a thousand times a day in the UK. Carpet by itself, nothing else, 891 times a day in the UK. Wood flooring, see, it's actually a very heavily searched item as well. 
lino flooring is your lino page optimized for lino flooring as a search term understanding the keywords that go with your market that go with your customers is pretty crucial in order for you to be able to set your web pages up so that they are relevant to those keywords so that they answer the implicit question that's in that search and there don't appear to be very many people in Carlisle waking up and taking advantage of that so carpets and buying carpets was just as one example in Carlisle and if you would like help get your existing website found if you would like help in getting more customers through your door if you have paid a lot of money for a website to be built and it's not bringing you any customers then please get in touch with me Ray Cassidy at Consulting Cumbria Limited I do try and talk this through in plain language please do yourself and your business some good get yourself found get more customers